Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, yes. So we're driving to Humboldt, and Rudy Francisco to my left made a very interesting uh, observation. What was that, Rudy? I don't remember what that was. The um, one with the highway. Ah, yes. Yeah. I've actually never seen a one lane highway before. That, my friends, one lane. is a one lane highway. Um, to our immediate right was a body of water that you couldn't identify. It wasn't a lake. No, it wasn't a lake. It's too big to be a creek. Too big to be a creek. I know creeks. Yeah. Definitely um, wasn't a stream. Or a river because it wasn't flowing. No, no. Um, it was still. Yeah. And there were some electrical towers in it? Yeah. What? You know? And it was a little too clean to be a swamp. Lagoon? Yeah. I've never seen a lagoon. But that's what I imagine a lagoon to look like. If I were to draw a lagoon, <laughs> it would look a lot like what we just saw. Yeah. Um, we're really north. Yes. <laughs> very north. We're very north. I, in my uh, experience, I've never been this far north in California. Yeah. Have you been this far north? Never. Never past Sacramento. Never past Sacramento. Yeah. Um, we saw some birds that were doing this formation, interesting formation yeah. swan yeah. dance exactly. thing. I don't... I'm nervous. This is different. <laughs> it's like a whole other world. It's yeah. it's like what the center of the earth would be like. You know, the way you But cooler. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit cooler. <laughs> All right, so I got a question for you because I just ran into a very interesting situation. Uh -huh. Let's say you're talking to somebody, not necessarily like in a romantic sense, but they're just uh -huh. your friend. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, you've talked to them, it's half the day has gone by. Uh -huh. And they say, oh, yeah, I've been really busy today. You know, I keep getting flooded with all the happy birthday text messages and phone calls. Uh -huh. You clearly didn't know <laughs> <laughs> it was their birthday. How does one handle this? Now, have you known this person for a period of time? Where you're yes. At a point where you should know that it's their birthday? I, as a person, yeah. am not good with dates. Uh, me neither. I don't remember them. I got a lot of poems up here. Yeah. Um, but I have known them for, I think it's been about two years. Uh -huh. So, we've had about two birthday cycles. Ah. Does he remember your birthday? Most likely. Yeah. Um, at that point, I would say, I meant to call you. I've just been busy. You know, happy birthday. How's your birthday going, by the way? I see. And if you've been text messaging back and forth all day, and you... <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. ah! Ah! That hurts. Yeah, at that point, you just kind of got to suck it up and say happy birthday. I think that's when you yeah. go with the abrupt approach. Yeah. That's know. when you go with the, oh, happy birthday, I had no idea. Yeah. I suck at dates. Yeah. Is that okay to do? Honesty is usually, you know, you can usually get away with honesty. You yeah. Know what I mean? At that point, since you've been texting all day, yeah. it's a very different situation. Yeah. I would just, you know, suck it up and say, hey, you know, you know I'm bad with dates, you know me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Wait, so that's another lagoon right behind you. Ah. It's right by the highway. Yeah. Touching distance. I'm so confused. Thank you for that, Rudy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>